talk to me, I talk back. Yeah, we talk nice. Okay. <laughs>
DJ? Um, when I came in at first, it was tough because I came in the shoes of Trails, DJ Trails, and those were big yeah. shoes to shoot. And at that time, I think Winston was at his peak prior to COVID, as far as like entertainment wise. So I had to like be on my P's and Q's about everything. Um, it was definitely fun. It made me the DJ I am now, I believe. Um, I have no regrets about anything. Wise, what's the wise? No regrets, y'all. Y'all heard no regrets. <laughs> I'm gonna still say it is tough. Cause trails, got TM. You had me coming in here, but no one TM was leaving. But I didn't tell nobody. I mean, I'm one of the few that knew. <laughs> Like I was at the event when we was like, yeah, this will be the night we tell them. I remember DP and them announcing it and literally hearing it in the crowd, like, what are we about to have? Yeah. Third. It's third, third, third. You told third. us at the step show, right? Was it the step show or yard fest? Um, it was the yard fest. It was yard fest. It was the yard fest. Yeah. Like, y'all was just lit, like, screaming to the top of y'all lungs, and then people like, got an announcement. <laughs> y'all watching this, go back to my Instagram and look at a photo I had on the LA fitted and the LA shirt. That the was outfit the was on point to the announcement. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, he turned around to <laughs> like, yeah. He was telling y'all without telling y'all. That was really it, yeah. So like it, that was at that moment it was like I knew like you got to show yo. Yeah. I believe Luckily, it was I came in and I ain't had no off event yet, but you know. Why you think it's hard for third? Because generations have changed. Like, I'm yeah. not, Big Hunk not on TikTok. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know none of that TikTok music. Third note. I don't to like TikTok music. If, <laughs> if y'all don't know, y'all learn. I'm really a dancing at, I'm, I'm a dancing individual. Fun fact, he used to dance with Chris Brown back in the day on tour. For real? I just told the world. <laughs> well, that's a little Now we said If that's the case, Chris is. Brown, you just dropped your tour. You need to call me then, if that's the case. I need tickets to the Charlotte show. <laughs> I need tickets to the Charlotte show. He just dropped it, though. Which tour was it? It won't, but it was that wall to wall tour. I think I do remember. Yeah, I think I do remember. I used to be on YouTube watching all the videos. I'm pretty sure I seen you. He always been music. What's my YouTube name? What's my YouTube name? I don't know. Okay. I remember that. I'm about to say, because I'm about to go find it. We're about to drop that to recap for their video. Like a follow up. Put the link. So how has it been like learning like I stuff? Like, cause I know you DJ. It ain't hard, but y'all definitely have a different culture. Than AT or just in general. Cause I remember my first basketball game. <laughs> I was rocking. But like for instance, the girls game. I done dropped racks between the girls fourth quarter and I'm like Third, you know we got, and I dropped Rex and geeked up. Girls was going off, but I, it didn't dawn, like, it was like, you got a boys game, you got a whole nother yeah. hey. game, like, they was like, hitting DP up, DP gave me a rough time that game, I knew it was real, somebody walked up to me with the phone, they was like, huh, trails on the phone, I'm like, yeah, like, you rocking, but you, you need to just, Too quick. Yeah, that's all. I'm like, all right. Like, ain't nobody say it was bad. I'm not gonna lie. Winston is different because I like what the keys meant. I like when you put your hand up. I like. I ain't got that yet. So we good. But yeah, it's definitely different. Like, this was the little song. The little song. Because I think Trails did bad view. Yeah, nah. It was one of them. I don't think it was Livingston. I was good by Livingston. It was one before that. I think it was St. Hall. I feel like it was St. Hall. I remember getting a text. It was somebody. Because I even called you. It was somebody. I can't think. And I'm not big on this kind of stuff yet. So y'all gotta. I went to GTCC and I ain't go back yet. And everybody trying to get me now to go to Winston, especially with me being y'all DJ. Go to Winston. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Okay. So, Trails is the DJ. So, how did y'all get in? Dancing. And the names, how you come up with the names? Dancing. How you come from dancing to, to DJing? Music. Just love music. Okay, so you still be dancing. If you really pay attention to what me and DP be in the party. Yeah, he dances at the show. Yeah, I really, if you know me once you learn me like certain songs, it's just, it's gonna happen. 
my uncle used to talk to barbershop. All his co-workers, I used to call them all too. One of them had DJ equipment, but he treated the DJ equipment like your grandma treated her couch with the rap on it. Like, you don't touch it. And he used to kill me, like, I want to know what it is. And he was like, well, look at it. Don't touch it. So I used to be over there like this, trying to learn. Downloaded my software. I ain't had no equipment, no nothing. I had a mouse. What was it called? Vir virtual DJ. Virtual DJ. Yeah. I was tear. Downloaded music, getting viruses on the computer. And I just taught myself. And then they used to. Starbar? Riley. Used to had a DJ, DJ in the club, but you can listen to it live in your car on the radio. I used to sit there and listen to it. And I'd go in the house of practice. And if my music ain't clean like it was on the radio, I would start up the same songs in the same order. I didn't know no different, but yeah. So like nowadays, I be big on making it clean cuts, all of that. When I moved to Greensboro, because I'm from Greensboro, but I moved to Tupac, to Henderson. Moved back, worked at UPS, bought me some equipment, and basically I quit UPS 2018. I've been DJing for that. How you come with your name? It's a long story. <laughs> That's a long story. You ain't got a little summary. Nah. <laughs> it's just a long story. <laughs> it's not a long story. It was third before DJ third, but it's just a long story. For me, um, growing up, I used to play the trumpet in elementary school, middle school, play the drums, middle school. Um, and my uncle was DJ growing up. So I watched him DJ um, one Christmas, well, one birthday, like in eighth grade, middle school. I got a little DJ controller, probably this big. I was rocking on it. Like, with the two circles on it? Yeah. It was so small, you can only DJ with like two you fingers. Can only do one finger. Yeah. But I was rocking on it. I'm like, wow, like, I'm really good at it. And at the time, I was playing basketball. And um, I just stopped playing basketball. Like, I fell in love with DJing. I always loved music. Music always been my family. How'd you come up with your name? My real name is Traymon, and the capital letters T and M. So, T and M. Okay. Okay, so what, what's been an event? Well, I've asked both of y'all. What was your, one of your favorite, your couple favorite events that you liked doing here? On campus? Yes. Yard or off campus? On campus wise, Yard Fest every single year. Okay. Um, Yard Fest. The gym jams that we did have before COVID, um, top tier. Off campus wise, I'm not a party person. I know that sounds weird, but I hate parties. I hate them. I'll be pulling in my house. I'm, I'm a homebody. I'm in the house. Um, I think all off campus parties are good. Everyone has a good vibe. You decided to do the, the one on Friday, no reason why. Oh yeah, that's L Doc. Shout out to shout out to the good brothers of 06, Bay Iota, you know. Charter Day is on Thursday. You know, L Doc is on Friday, Alpha Party on Friday. I can't really say I've done none just yet. We be just now starting with y'all for our own camp. But y'all just definitely rock. I've been partying with y'all. Y'all just definitely rock every year. So when it's my time, I know that's gonna probably be one of the biggest ones. Every time I met, what's what's KR? Any KR event? Any KR, KR. event? I I love them too, cause like so that's KR what made me get attached to them. We're getting like, back with KR. I'm I'm club KR. Like, <laughs> our first time I walked in there, it was packed, top and bottom. Yeah, we can see DP yelled to the bottom, they go yeah. He looked to the top, they go yeah. He yeah, looked at us that. and say something. And we just press a button and they go crazy. I'm like, yeah, that's that's definitely where you want to be. Off camp, uh, it's so tough. There's so many off campus events. I've done a lot. Uh, my while and out was one of my top. And then the tour, when I went on tour last year, it was really my top two. You went on tour with two CDs. How was that? That was my first one. It's, it's different, but the closest thing compared to what y'all can understand is like, what's the angry if I didn't like, as long as you know what you're doing 
and you rocking the crowd, like y'all go, they gonna react just like you wanted to, like. But it ain't no four hour gig, no three hours. It's twenty five minutes for you. Like you, like as a DJ, opening up. I got four artists. Shout out Social Currency. Before they come out, they getting their stuff ready and done. You got ten to fifteen minutes, and you out there in front of three, four, five thousand, however many they got. I think our biggest one was Texas. They had ten thousand. Mm. You walk out there, they you setting up the stuff so they think you the sign people. Then you turn your computer on, you grab that mic, and they just looking at you like. <laughs> what you got for yeah, us? Yeah, that's the tone, too, before the artists <laughs> come out. Like, what did you do? Really like, DJ Third, mm -hmm. uh, introduce yourself, tell me who you with. Dope restaurant, Ram Fest, HBCU Brawl Saturday, Rams versus Aggies. That's not even a competition, because... Yeah, we already know who yeah, won. We already know who winning that. <laughs> but just be lit, you know, don't do too much. Be safe, watch your surroundings. Don't take shit too seriously, because at the end of the day, like... Party is not like, you know. By the way, Saturday is no phones, so. And wash your ass. <laughs> wash your ass. <laughs> Scented lotion, perfume, cologne. Don't spray too much. Don't spray too much. You gotta hit the spots. Spray too much. Oh, and if you got COVID, stay your ass in the crib. Stay at home. Please, please. Cause, nah, bro. We ain't got time for that. You got kids. Well, I ain't got kids. You got kids. Like, you know, you gotta protect the family. We have tested on Monday and Wednesday in the Anderson Center and in the Health Center. So we ain't got time to be going viral because y'all want to be sneaking out the house for one night. Was you a little concerned? Anything? I'd be concerned all the time with folks because folks. Are if you think about how many times people come to us to speak, and we be working, we really don't be paying no attention. Like we know it's y'all, but like we don't, like we like, hey, what's up? Like we be focused on the computer. I'm trying to tell you where I said it in the last video. So like people just walk up to speak and we just not sure and like, what's up? Like, unless it's like, if TM walk up and of course TM lives in LA now, like, nah, that's gonna throw me out. Like, yo, like, but then we like, what's up, bro? Like, I'm moving. Like, think about it, you gotta shake hands and you still typing. You like, hey, it's my hood, you typing. You don't know what they done did before, but then you just moving, like, People yeah, coming up, I got a song request. If just so happy you take twenty dollars, you don't know what did I do with twenty dollars? You just don't be doing people hookers. Let me hit your hooker. You DJ regardless, you know that you said yes or no, they gonna hit your hooker. You don't know what's going on. Like I ain't got no now. I keep hand sanitizing into all my bags, all my DJ bags. Two squirts, I'm good. Yeah. Do y'all yeah. still use headphones? I can't I never see y'all at the parties. Give me so many people. I don't. It's just it's weird for me. I never do. And some folks tell me I'm crazy for it. I never, unless it's a brand new song or something. Like, I keep them, but I don't do them. Just so I got an ear for it. Because I know when the headphones, you can hear the, um, the mix. I just got an ear for it. But that just come with prepping yourself. Like, if you do what you're supposed to, you good. DJs know what we mean by that. But, like, if you do what you're supposed to before the party. I can't. I don't prep. That's my confession. I you don't prep? I don't. I say prep as in like. Oh, yeah, I know what he means. I mean, yeah, like, cue yeah. points wise, but. Like practice though, I don't practice. I do that in front of y'all. That's why I don't even be knowing. When y'all be surprised, like, damn, there you went. Like, I, I went crazy. Yeah, I know. I don't know what I did, but yeah, I did. <laughs> like, last night, like, I did. We had the slow burn, the RB, the slow burn. You don't supposed to play nothing else. I've been asked, so I told PJ, I said, do y'all ask you check? He was like, yeah, SU. I said, SU. I dropped the intro rats. He said, do, 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 do. And I dropped the nasty song. I said, ding. Like, it be off the top of my head. I don't be knowing where to come up with this stuff. Like, I just, it just be in the moment. So y'all don't prep at all. I know my daddy, when he prepped. I used to. He just worked, like, see, the song like, if and stuff. It, like, with me, if I prep, it got to be like a wedding or something. Like, something I'm not familiar with. Yeah, that's what I'm not doing. I wish I could. But I just. Uh -oh. If it's something I'm not comfortable with, uh, yeah. But other than that, I don't. Bro. I be so busy, like with DJ and outside of DJ. Like, I don't even touch my DJ laptop unless, like, I'm at an event. And that's terrible because I need to, like, go through my crates and stuff. That's my worst. Yeah. Like, with y'all, that's the most I've been prepping because I have no clean music. <laughs> that's different. No. I'll be wrong. We don't care. No, but you can't. 
Well, not every part line. That's what I'm saying. I had a lot. I was supposed to say I love when you said KR. I love that because you ain't got to. <laughs> don't do too much, but you good because they're going to yell it regardless. And if you turn the music yeah. off, they're going to be just as loud as the music. So like, I love it in there, but yeah. How have you liked it so far? I like LA. I love the vibe. It's bad expensive, but like it's so many opportunities down there. You been to a Lakers game yet? I haven't. Crazy thing is, I haven't been to like no sporting events out there. But I went to a Lakers game before, but like visiting LA. Okay. But LA, I love it, honestly. It's different from being, you know, down south, but it's a vibe. It's definitely vibe. How's the party been like doing the party this thing? It's different, but they like folk the same music that's down here. But it's like, it's a ride. It's very sad. LA people are bootleg. But it's crazy because LA DJs they don't play music from down here. So when they get like a DJ from the south, they love. Yeah, because it's something. It's something different. So like, I did not expect to be booked so much at all. Have a ball at it. So I've seen that you've done like awards. How's that been? That was fun. Um, I actually produced and DJ that award show. I do production. That was different. That's like a vibe. Like, award shows, there's a bunch of like notable people just having fun at the normal drinking. And it was an outside vibe. So, yeah, book up for the BT Awards. What show? What, what's, what's they with Songs. Anything <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, that, that uh, the Snoop Dogg album. The dog, dog, what is it? Like, the Doggy yeah, Dog so Dog like, Dog 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 part of the party you drop Snoop. <laughs> They pump for that heavy. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. And I'd be surprised. Like, I just had to stay for the dudes. They don't vote. <laughs> they actually don't vote for Nito on LA. Oh, like what? all that, they do not vote with. So maybe uh, Dirk would know for Nito. Yeah, they go with Dirk, but for Nito wise, nah, it's like you in that plane, hit him up, Tupac, and this, you rock it. Oh, I dropped that down. Then we go. <laughs> Though, you play like any other like notable Greek songs on here? Yeah. They, yeah. Like, do they like that? Yeah, but it's not like Greek wide. They just like the songs. It's not many Greeks in LA actually. If they are, they don't do too much. That's what I need to ask y'all next. I know y'all do a lot of Greek parties. What was y'all favorite Greek party? When That's I crossed, um, I do a Rampage. It's like Rampage Friday. It was like an old warehouse that was a, um, a car wash. A car wash? It's off of, um, not Akron. It's on like the, the south side of Winston, but that was a great party. Patterson? No, I went Patterson. I, I thought you were talking about that business. I hate Patterson. I hate, I hate that Patterson. Me too. Sticky, floor. Sticky, <laughs> slippery, sweaty, everything. That one's nasty, yeah. That is good. I was okay with it. But it was definitely a Kappa Q party. It was at Bar Tiger. DJ wise, it was at Bar Tiger. My favorite Greek party, I was a DJ. It was great though. Bukalas. I miss Bukalas. That's one club that I, to this day, I want to, I want to do Bukalas and I still want to do it with Bar Tiger. I oh See, I asked God. about the wet and wild party I when I worked there. Enough. They didn't need to bring that back. They said it was too much going on for them to have them again. And he was right. I wasn't ready yet. Bukanas? I'm still on Bukanas, bro. That shit was different. was different. And it was packed out every Saturday. Eight hundred minimum, regardless of what y'all got going on. So we get those eight parties. Bukanas gonna do eight hundred minimum. How do you spell that so I can Google that? It's not even called Bukhanas now. It's called like. Oh, it's closed down. They changed the name before they closed it. And also, like, Grinsville had a lot of clubs like Ultra, Ultra. Bukhanas, Ultra, Lotus, Inferno. Lounge, Inferno the zone. Oh my god, I remember Inferno. It was Tranquilo. It was the zone before. <laughs> On the radio, every part, it was always happening. Mariah streaming in the world. Long yeah, Gray Street was known. Party life is so different. Even Winston had like eight clubs. Like yeah, actually, now everybody don't know how to act. Yeah, after. Greensboro used to have a lot of clubs too, but it was too much going. It was. And if y'all watching this, stop trying to be hard, because if you try to be hard after the parties, 
then y'all mess something up. Whether somebody shooting in the air, the bullet come out of the air, somebody hit somebody with a car, y'all underage drinking. If you want to drink and you underage, do it before. Because when y'all do it at the club, y'all get it shut down and y'all be asking us why we ain't got no rules. I know we probably supposed to be talking to y'all, but I'm talking to y'all. Because we can get arrested for that. We really do, like, for y'all. I learned that from Aaron the last week. Yeah, like, that's all I said. Other than that, fall out. Yeah, y'all, please stop cutting up. Cause we want the super jam bag. Definitely yeah, can't have that no more. It's stuff like that. We can't do nothing no more. Like we used to do so much. Like the wet and wild. I was gonna do the wet and wild and get it day closed. Tim, did you do a wet and wild? You did a wet and wild party. I went. I didn't get it though. I was. I'm like I was gonna do it. Like <laughs> I was good. I just got the internship and one or two and all that. And they was like, yeah, we're not doing it this year. Yeah, the so one year that I was actually gonna do it, like two years ago, I was gonna do that. And it didn't happen. Something that was it after the park closed because I asked them and they said it was after the park closed. Was it while the park was open or was it after? Who's talking about that? They weren't doing it no more? Yeah, no, the wet and wild. Like, they was were it? debating about doing it and they was promoting it, but they ended up canceling it for I'm guessing the same reasons. But yeah, oh, you, that? you mean like, like when they had the party, was it while the park was open? Like, oh no, so it's like rented out, oh, okay, yeah, it was rented out. So, like, one of the kids there. I will. Yeah, you want no kids. Yeah, it was definitely grown activity. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, my old supervisor said they used to have to get guards off the um, oh, yeah. off the clock, and it was only certain pools. I really wish they would have had that because I would have loved to work there. That's the day like, I actually would have liked. Like, I couldn't swim, and for me, that was. <laughs> It was at the party, you would go over here with one DJ, then you gotta walk over there to another DJ. I mean, you know, walk. black people don't <laughs> stand at pool. They just, they just stand But it. still, it's just in the general, that wave, really. You've been good in the lazy river. I life. definitely don't watch people move off of that wave. <laughs> I, you stay away from it. <laughs> Especially the corner with the little work, the little girl. Oh, no, pool. it would be right there on the side. But that wave will pull you out. I would, I would watch the girl, like, she was dancing. Wave came splashing. She tried to go get her wig, and another wave came. And took her out. <laughs> oh, oh baby was please there. don't wear a wig at pool wig. party. You gotta leave after that. Like day. it was, she was good though. Like it was just if the wig came off, but she tried to go get the wig, which won't. But from here to her, and another wave came in and took her out. Don't wear wigs at uh, stuff like that. That would my last party gig, <laughs> swim, all of that. Like, uh -uh. I had to take my swim test in the wave pool to get involved. Oh, so you swim like a demon. You know how to swim. Yeah, we had to swim from one end to the other, and we couldn't stop. I don't even know how to swim. Two laps. And we had to get the dog. I put my feet in the water. Oh, yeah. I, I put my, my ankle in the, the most you can get. Yeah, yeah, I can float. I can float. I can't float. I drive. I can't I float. Either. Y'all be good in the wave pool, though. It's only three feet. I mean, not the wave pool. <laughs> the, the lazy room. <laughs> the lazy <laughs> room. You don't even want to get in the lazy room, bro? I have to learn how to swim, though. But, uh uh. I literally had a girl tell me, what's today? Tuesday. I had a girl tell me, like, Saturday, she was like, I'll teach you how to swim. I said, You teach me how to swim, I'll give you $500. Like, that's how positive I am. I was like, I, I've done, I don't know about drive about five times. She wanted, she wanted to teach you how to swim, or she wanted to teach you how to swim? No, like, I told her, she was like, Why you, like, never do nothing for your birthday? Yeah. Like, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> they were on me, like, they were like, You don't know you're going to be birthday, because I wanted to do Dubai last year, because I turned 25. I was like, I don't know how to swim, like, I want to be on some different. I want to go with the water clear and see through the bottom to the floor. But I ain't trying to be at the bottom looking up because <laughs> yeah. I can't swim. Yeah, nah. The key to swimming is you have to you have to be good at treading water. Oh, you know, I don't know that terminology. So. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you get in, like, you have to get in there and you can hold yourself up above the water when you don't. Oh, it's dirty, so it's tight. You just, you just keep your feet. Like yeah. If you can, if you can tread water, you can swim in deep water. I don't want to try it. If I do, I'm gonna have a vest on. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even I don't trust be that. Trusting it. Sometimes I don't. I don't my be first thing I think of is my weight. And I'd be like, boy, you 230, you 220, <laughs> whatever, you over two. Like, this vest is not about to hold you up. You know, I ain't never done nothing on a boat yet. Like, going out in the middle boat. of the ocean. I did one boat party. I'm from the beach. That was my last boat party. I'm and then I didn't get a surf. Yeah, I went snorkeling. I was scared. <laughs> I, did one with, I ain't gonna say no name, but party promoter. Mm -hmm. Clap, yeah. I'm At a lake. Bus. And I told him I'm not doing it no more. That was the best. First and last, uh, that was the best one I was gonna get out of. Yeah, but snorkeling, I was scared for my life. Where did you go snorkeling? Like, was you near the beachfront or was you? Yeah, like, I was in the middle. We was in the middle. I was out. Oh, 
in South America. Just, I'm going to take a trip and I want to go smoke. In the middle of the water. The I'm water was shots. clear. Beautiful. I want to smoke sharks. But you don't know how to swim. The ones that don't bite. I want to swim with sharks while I want to swim. swim. The ones in the, in the uh, aquarium that you just look at. Yeah, the mm -hmm. little, the little. You're going to be in a cage? That's how they do it. You be yeah. in a cage. But I watch, what is it, 47 deep, 47 meters, something like that? Yeah. And you want to do that? That's what protect you. That was too oh, deep. Okay. I want to be in the aquarium where people can see me. You don't want to do it in the ocean? No. The ocean Maybe is scary. It's fun. It's fun. I wore a vest and I can swim. You can't just run to the other side of the cage with that charger, T.M. You got to swim. Okay, okay. I'll do it. All right, you're right. I'll be in the sun. You can't do it. You're right. As long as you don't piss the shark off. You see that How move I just did? Because they get mad, white. They get mad. That's what I'm saying. Come daddy, I'll <laughs> talk shit to the shark. <laughs> they get mad. Talk shit in the you, you ain't never watched a, a documentary. They really do get mad. That's when they get aggressive. That's what I'm saying. And they're charging you nah. at 50 miles per hour. Meanwhile, you can only move a little bit of water. Like, like when they be sparing the shark, that pisses them off. And you're in a big cage, so you got to get to the other side of the cage. Think you can stay under there that long without all the, even though you got all the stuff. I'd have been a carpet attack. Yeah, y'all gotta go ahead and pull this cage up third. We gonna I think you will be fine. They will be so mad at me. Whoever in my room. I'm not doing it. I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water poop parties. Yeah, I don't even get in the water well, I didn't get on the car. I got pushed in. See? I'm not doing that. Nope, he was eating much. Yeah. I will let you know before if you push me in the water, I'm putting you in a headlock because I can't swim, so we're going to bust you down. <laughs> I like to I'm, I'm going to be so snow. Like, you just on this firm headlock. Go I can't get back up, so you're not going to do it either. And we're going to be stuck. If you want to save one, you got to save both. Because the walls will not let you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going down together. Tomato, yeah. tomato. I'd be joking to get through, seriously, but I'd be so serious. I think you should learn how to swim, though. It's fun. I want to. It's fun. I did it at a young age. A I learned how to swim with Tim. And he'd be like, bro, there's a pool party over here. It's lit. I got a mansion party. I ain't DJing, so I ain't got no excuse not to be over there by the water. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be over there. Yeah, 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 I don't want to be over there. Somebody help him. <laughs> like he can't fun. swim, y'all. Like he really, he really can't swim. Like that's that's already twenty seconds right there. We need you jumping off the diving board. <laughs> you lost the strap. Now you push me. <laughs> uh, I'm stressing. You know I still can't dive. I okay, can't swim. so let me throw this in there. I'm scared of heights too. So me doing too too oh, much, God. you gonna mess me up mentally. I will do something height wise, but I'm not. I just flew for the first time on my tour. Flying feels I'm different than flying. Flying is very scary. I, love I just flying. flew for the first time. So like, all of that in one, you know. I take John with me before flights. I got loyalty points with American Airlines. Shit. I love flying. Like, shout out to American Airlines. Just did my project. Yeah, man, y'all yeah, was the first one I flew with. Y'all was straight with them. You had to, you got to listen to that gate call. That's about it. <laughs> I like Delta because really of the cookie. <laughs> Not because of the Yeah, I like Delta because of the cookie. I like Delta too. Want to get my cookies, even though you can get them at Walmart. I didn't get to experience the food. I was just worried about this. Uh, Y'all ever been on a flight hop? No. no. Oh, I that's should've. like the scariest no, thing. No, I no, no. So I flew here. I flew to North Carolina on the 21st. You know, 420 was the day before. Mm -hmm. So I was smoking all night. And I had an overnight flight. So I left on 420 at 11 p.m. And I, I was at the airport smacked. Like, Mm -mm. I slept so oh, good on that flight. I do not remember the flight. That first ten minutes is what it's like. It's good. Everything on the flight was straight. I was cool, calm, collected. Nah, we I got on there. She was talking. It was cool. We strapped up. She gave me the oil shoes. I was like, I right, bet. Yeah, I did. It turned on. That was the first little eye. Right. We was good. We moved a little bit, but once we hit that straight path, it was like, all right. We were about to start taking off. Brace yourself. So brace yourself. <laughs> now, I'm guessing this is the that seat ball. Ball. <laughs> He pulled that thing to the bank. He pulled that thing to the bank and I'm going to, you chilling. I be That's sleep before we take off. And you, you just take off. watch the whole play. Like that. Take a that took me out right now. 
You want another song to listen to? J. Cole. 2014, 2014. Do you want to be? <laughs> <laughs> I got flown over water yet. Yeah, I flew a lot of places. So yeah. At this point, I would just yeah. say I flew because I. Gotta be and I had the window seat of that. I gotta have the window seat. Tell Road is terrifying. <laughs> Tell Road and all that stuff. I ain't gonna see my mama. It's no a more. secret to that, though. If you got a long flight, yeah. If you got a daytime flight, I would recommend the window seat. But if you like long flight nighttime, get the outside out so you can stretch more. You can go to the bathroom quicker, you can get up quicker. And you got an overhead that's just right there. But how do you pick your seat? So I don't be doing none of that. I just finessed it. It was really a Mexican. He was like, bro, I fly three times a week. I don't care where I sit at. I was like, can I get the When you get to that point? Yeah, like, he didn't care. Fine. He was cool. Like, he, he, he fly a lot. Yeah, he didn't and care. Like, I can't, you know, I can't watch stuff like that. I fly too much. Manifest. He was laughing and shit at me. It. Like, it's good. It's that's, good. That's crazy. I thought it happened to me one day. I woke up off the flight. I flew to um, I flew to FAMU's homecoming from mm-hmm. LA. And I woke up, I had the biggest migraine ever. I thought I was gonna die. I thought somebody stuck me with a needle. And mind you, I was in first class, so I was comfortable as shit, so I was knocked out. But when I woke up, my eyes was red, my nose was like crooked. There was a lot going on. A lot going on. And you know, Tallahassee's a small ass town. So. Mm-hmm. I think too much. I can't do nothing like that. Right, best case, y'all, but I already just went to school. I'm always winning. <laughs> Rampage, they might beat me. I'm good, though. Now, homecoming, y'all had me. It was over. Oh, no. Homecoming so was, good. both of them, because we did them back to back. I did Sunday to the next Sunday. Not Sunday to Sunday, but Sunday to the next Sunday. Mm. I think Friday might keep my ass. It's a long day. Oh, yeah, you have to do yard fast. <laughs> yard fast. And, uh, um, and what was the younger alumni gym What day was it? That's like, how were you leaving? The little city, Sunday. No, I'm talking about for homecoming. Oh, homecoming? That was on Saturday. Yeah, that's the day. Like you fly it out Sunday? Mm-hmm. Damn. That was a good day. Because you got the brunch. I just locked in for Tuesdays. So that's 3 to 7, then 6 to 11. And then I got Air Street Lounge, which is 10 to 2. You got lots of days. Damn. Well, she did mention, I was about to mention the L-Doc. There was so three events on Friday. Yeah. They party. Yard fest. Right yeah. That was just the finale. So, yeah. I, gotta, I gotta go back to LA, man. Oh, yeah, I'll be after some. So I feel like Friday's gonna be the best party. I'm sorry. Yeah, for sure. I just feel like that's the party I feel like. Oh, L-Doc? They always have They don't really have no, like, alpha party. Yeah, we did. Now, yeah, there's a lot of politics and that shit. Cause my class, my class is not, I'm class of 24. We haven't really experienced nothing. Like, we didn't even get to experience TM. We didn't get to experience him at all, actually, because we didn't have rendition. Rendition was virtual. <laughs> yep, you didn't have rendition. It was virtual. Virtual. It was. That's so sad. Slept through the whole thing. I hated getting up at 8 o'clock, but it was worth it. It was worth it. Man, do you know how salty it was? Seeing the videos? The night was worth it too. So. It was lit. Ram Fest. Not Ram Fest, but Ram Dish. My Ram Dish was different. I DJed my Ram Dish. That's how crazy it was. It was a great vibe. I would never do another Ram Dish. <laughs> you class of 19? 21. 21. I hate that one. I hate that one. You just left. Oh, you are 20. You are 20. I'm only 22, yeah. He I thought he was, was my cousin age, yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess we could close it out um, with the last question. Where do y'all see yourself in five years? Or where do y'all want to be in five years? Um, I really have a five-year plan, actually. I want to own, like, a food truck. I want to have a food truck downtown LA. I also want to have a studio. Um, so I want to own two businesses, um, DJ and less. I want to be more on the back end of stuff. Cause I I love DJing, but I love the back side of music as well. So I want to fall back from a lot of like actual DJing. Um, I just want to be living my life, you know. So with the studio, you want to like, do you want to manage artists? artists? I do. Okay. I definitely want to manage artists. I want to have a studio that's like, well, the ultimate goal is to have a complex, a music complex. You have a studio, you got a club, and you got like a bar restaurant. 
own like a company. Like I want to own a block. Cause like you don't see a lot of like black owned businesses in LA. You do, but you gotta go to Inglewood, Crenshaw, and they not you know pop. Small pocket. You might see a little team running around. That's why I did. I'm not a little team. Yes, that was pretty <laughs> similar. <laughs> uh, other than the food truck, I definitely, because when I went to GT, CC, I went for recording engineering, so producing is what I really went to school for, recording engineering. I love DJing, but at the same time, I'm at that point. The way I DJ, DJs probably get it. I don't feel like club DJing is what I'm built for. I like reactions. I like you to give, sing it to me. Like, if I'm playing certain songs, I'm the one that's gonna cut the music off. I wanna hear y'all. Like, I, I'd rather deal with like, the concert vibe. What you, what you call the, what is the, yeah, Robbie? Like, the outdoor where they do all the big concerts. Like an amphitheater. I feel like that's, I couldn't get it out because I want to. I feel like that's what I'm going towards. Like, I'm probably gonna be definitely better move by the end. Uh, Atlanta, Texas, LA is some of my options. But I want to have something here, like an amphitheater, like where I could just throw. Because I know a lot of celebrities, as y'all would say, rappers and stuff, but I want to throw monthly concerts. I come DJ for those. Would y'all like on any like events or anything? So, we'll be like, would you make any events to bring? Definitely. I feel like the folks just throwing parties now still will be throwing them in, but it's just like when we come back, like when T.O. come back, you know he's going to party with us, but it's just whenever he has free time. That's when we I'm leave, like. you know we're going to come back, but it's just like whenever we have free time. What's something I would like to bring back? Hmm. Either in grief or oil, because you, you from grief or I'm from Greensboro. I moved to Henderson at five. Oh, you from Greensboro? Oh, you do. But yeah, like Greensboro or Winston, or for you, Winston, or wherever you're from. Like parties? Like, like events. I just, I just want the vibe back. Yeah. I that, can't say that. Me, it sounds crazy, but before we even had clubs, house parties was the best. If we could have the 2015 to 2017 vibes, like you'll have a fight, yeah. You might have somebody shoot here and there, yeah. But like people actually party. It won't no judgmental, like you can be doing a handstand on the wall, falling your head, and we go still rock out. Like you're not gonna get judged. You're not gonna go home, cry in the bathroom, nothing. Like people just, they had a good time, that's it. Yeah, we had good vibes in the That was really, yeah, you know, that was really the time when you just had a good time, like. Geo vibes back then. And then back then, it didn't matter what you played. That's one thing I like about Winston, though, too. It don't matter what you play out here. It don't have a ball, but, like, at the same time, this new generation don't know how to ride music. They do, they don't. It's like, they caught up in the social media. So, like, TikTok, so like, that's why I came in. But, like, classics, they don't know a couple of them. A good grip. You played a couple classes last night. Oh, last night I showed, I showed my ass. I definitely did. What about you? Um, I want to do like a Dreamville Fest, but like with no artists, just straight DJs and vibes and food. Come up and ride and stuff. And I feel like we could sell as many tickets as artists can. Definitely. So we do that now. So there's no point in having artists. That's when I was big. That's the, like the, like one or two jams, like the car show. Jesus. Just don't know art. I heard the car show was fun. They don't really do that no more. It's a lot of things when those don't do no more. Shout out to what I do. Yeah. We still love you. But, yeah. Yeah, I think the best event I heard them do was pop the Super Jam. Everybody used to talk about going to the Super Jam. I wanted to go to one too, but. I definitely, I went to one Super Jam with 2 chains and Future and all them, but I'm talking about, I found contact. The whole, that was, that was it. Yeah, they said it was smoky. It was at Greenfield Coliseum. Oh, what was it called? Something that that? No, that was not the Super Jam. That was not Super Jam. Super Jam was like 2015, Oh, yeah, it was, it was something else. Everybody was going to it. They were like, yeah, we're going to the 
I remember that two chains was uh that's what I'm different and all of that it was fresh. Like two chains were like put your lighters up and it was like I was young so I didn't catch on. Like everybody put lighters up and then like when the lighters went out you just see smoke and I'm like Oh, that's tough. <laughs> yeah, they said it was. I'm like, yo, man, he just. They said it was very loud. I'm like, boy, well, I feel woozy. <laughs> that's tough. I got contact. I guess just nothing wrong with it too when I got of age, but by the time I got of age. All right, like, I ain't even know. Because when I got to college, 2014, I was 17. So I was young compared to being around older folks. I also wanted to remember that spring break. Spring break, don't know the anything that they had here. Like artists performing at the beach and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I wanted to go to one of those too. For real? That is a five. What they do? They do um. I only did one spring break. What's in the water? Several. Yeah, I thought I heard that too. They did like one. Um, they do that. Remember, I only did one spring break. Yeah, watch this. It's so bad though. I never really had a spring break. I did Panama City once. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to us, we talk back. <laughs> talk to us nice though. Please, respectfully. We got three we videos. Reply to. <laughs> and if you're watching it this far, you fuck what you have. Mm -hmm. Right? Thank you. And by the time you see this, it's still right fast. Take a shot if you love yourself. If you see a shot, take, take a, shot. a shot. If okay. you smell a shot, if you dream about a shot, or even fight. if you pee, just fight it. back. <laughs> Don't let the liquor Please fight, fight you. Fight when you back. Blink, when you blink, open your eyes, be looking for that bottle and grab it and drink it. Try some TM this weekend. Okay, yeah, we got three videos this oh, week, yeah. so look out. No, we heard. <laughs> yeah, we checking out.